Kenny Passarelli on that famous summer of 1975 Wembley show with Elton John. I'm John Bowden from RockHistoryMusic.com. It was billed Midsummer Music with Elton John and a host of others at the famous Wembley Stadium the first day of summer, June 21st, 1975. Elton John was on top of the world. He was the biggest artist on the planet at that time. His Greatest Hits Volume 1 was a huge hit. And just three weeks before, he released, some say his best album, the groundbreaking Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy. It was the first album in history, I've got a copy signed by Elton, to reach number one on the Billboard charts. No one had ever done it before that. And he kept that streak going with the studio follow-up to that album, Rock of the Westies, with the same band also entering at number one on the Billboard charts. The problem was most of the audience had never heard the album. It had only been released three weeks before. And the lead-off single, the only hit, and it was a huge hit off the album, Someone Saved My Life Tonight, would not be released for two days after that big outdoor show, where I should point out that the fans had already seen Shaka Khan in the show, the Eagles, Joe Walsh, the Beach Boys were just before Elton John, who, word is, blew Elton out of the water because they were playing all the big hits. This would also be the very first show for the new Elton John band, which would include an old drummer that I played with before, one of my favorite drummers of all time, Roger Pope. Caleb Coy was back into the fold. James Newton Howard. As a special guest just for this one show from the Doobie Brothers and Steely Dan, Jeff Skunk Baxter was there and Kenny Passarelli. Kenny reflects on the show and gives us his first reaction on finding out that it was going to be re-released on the double extended Captain Fantastic in the Brown Deer Cowboy. When I got the word that Wembley, the, 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 that, that CD was going to be released with Captain Fantastic in the live Wembley Stadium, I was blown away because I was, matter of fact, I was flying in to do an interview about Elton with the BBC in Vegas. And as soon as I got off the plane, I had this car take me to a music store and I, I got the CD and put it on in the limo because I was so concerned about it, if it was a disaster. Mm -hmm. And it's not great, but it's got a good feel. There's some, for a live record, for us just rehearsing and playing the record, nobody knew. And uh, Roger and Caleb, Davey was the only one who was present on the original record. Yeah. So we did it and we did the best we could. There's some pretty good feels on it. It's not it's it's it's, it's not great, but it's not terrible. But uh, anyway, by the time we got to Blue Moves, we did what we wanted to do, and Gus allowed it to happen. And I read just recent that Crazy Waters was one of his favorite tracks he ever recorded. It's just hard for me to believe, but it is. That live show also included Brian and Brenda Russell, along with The Voice, Donnie Gerard. They did a great job on If you take a listen to it, tell me when the whistle blows and someone saved my life tonight. You can really understand and appreciate their presence. There were 100,000 people in the audience that day. And an interesting fact, Elton John premiered, of course, Captain Fantastic and the Brown Dirt Cowboy, but he also played a song that would not be released until October 1976 on the Blue Moves album, Chameleon. And it's one of the few times that Elton John, if not the only time that I can see, I've, I've done a little research, I don't know where else he ever played it. For Kenny Passarelli fans on August 13th, Kenny, along with Joe Walsh, Dan Fogelberg, and a host of other people, will be inducted into the Colorado Hall of Fame. And they're going to play a little, they're going to do a little thing together, which is really, really cool. A lot more clips coming up from Kenny Passarelli. I want to thank you for all the comments and the feedback. And make sure you share our videos and uh, subscribe to our channel. We'd appreciate that. This is Rock History Music.